What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here hopefully uh, doing a variety of fishing today. We're hoping to start out trolling, catching maybe some tuna if they're in the area. Try for them and then maybe maybe try for cobia, maybe try for Spanish. We're just we're gonna see what happens today. But we're out here fishing. You know, nothing good happens till you get out here and start fishing. So hopefully something will happen soon. So stay tuned. Yeah, they say, according to the fish app, they rank seven for 10 on that ability. So uh, I'm gonna keep a few and try them. Hopefully there's some black in the area. We're gonna, so we're hoping to get some, some good black and we're see if we can jig up some live bait and maybe a uh, slow troll for them bad boys. Yeah. 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 Ah, dang it. Yeah, that surprises you. It's still there? No, well, about three times it was. Must be another line if you need it, Cameron. Yeah, don't have money yet. Fish from up in a minute. Yeah. Courtesies of the tent sale. Yeah, some little seeds on the red, don't they? Yeah. Got some pipes. Yeah. You know what you need to yep. get? I got them on. Uh, I think the thing will be good. I think so. Jeez. Ooh, we're in the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. All about the same size, too. Yeah. That would be a great wahoo bait. Look at that face. It looks very. Kingfish. Yeah. Spanish. Mackerel. Kind of got the teeth of a kingfish. Oh, that's not a bonita. What is that? Spanish. Spanish. We're crazy animals. Look at that screen. Jeez. Hi, right, Caleb's got a fish on. One hit that plane in there. Uh, and this is a killer, a great white? Yeah. Work him off to the left there, there you go. And Caleb's got one coming up. We don't know what it is, but it's big. <laughs> Wanna get a gaff? Uh, bonita. Uh, so. Bonita or salmon? Or the Atlantic Bonita? Doing the best thing. Are you ready? Bring over here another Atlantic Bonita. Oh, they got you. He got caught by I got you. Uh, pretty Bonita though, huh? Only about a little funner to catch than this time. What you call it? Mm -hmm. so, um, Spanish. Okay. Well, there's no shortage of those guys around, so that's cool. Oh, 
I want to get them on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the bay we were looking for. They're moving like Benita, more, more like Benita than they are super on They don't tell you to move it. Oh, what was that to come out? Did you see it? Oh, oh, look at it. What was that? A kingfish? kingfish? Looked like a kingfish to that me. Looked like a kingfish. There's like two or three of them in there. We may have to get some kingfish free. Yeah. That's cool water for kings. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. Kingfish are not good water. If I get like a 150 pounder here in one beat. Yeah. And then we do about a try. I might have a couple on there, Jeremy. Feel like it might be more than one. Oh yeah. There you go, look at that. That was a low down one. Yeah. This is I could do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> Who's who made this famous quotes? The attorney. Captain America? Oh. Was <laughs> it Captain America? <laughs> we can get him in the boat. Don't jinx me, Kevin. Don't jinx me. <laughs> C two. You call that he's at least a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. two. Line them for a second. There you go. There he goes. Hope it's a tuna. I mean, it's a pretty good sized bait, so it should be a better fish, whatever it is. Either beneath there. Tuna. I think he's close. Tuna we were hoping for. It's a workout. You don't need one of those. Uh... This is the, the shake weight. Shake weight. Both or? Pig? <laughs> I think he ate both. <laughs> they actually uh, had that happen uh, on the trip. They had a uh, sailfish or white mollar and ate both of their lines. They both reeled it up. I'm gonna drop down the bottom, see what's there. I think it's real. I had one of my maybe old run or something. This is a vermilion, maybe a keeper. I don't know. Could be close. One might be. Oh, oh it's a little better. I was real high off the bottom. Uh, coming back up, I got a sea bass. Yeah. Just under, maybe? Probably just under. Well, that was fast. That was a good one. Felt pretty good, but I guess he got yagging bites. If you want to pull it up, I can walk us back. I 
You like that reel? Very narrow. Mm-hmm. Try there. Big one? Big one, huh? Yeah, let's back up a little for you. Yeah. We're gonna get on this fish fast. I can film a lady at the Kirby on the back. I mean, nice. You are so cool. Look at those. Statistically, you're the. Probably. None. <laughs> See, color. Yeah. It's big. There you go. Big. <laughs> we got red snapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did you just say? I'm just calling my decision. Look at the size of this one, Jeremy. Wow. <laughs> That is a red snap we're doing now. Oh, hey. That fish is 15 pounds, I said. You gotta get a picture with that one, Kelly. And we got the fish of the day. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I have a red snap. What's he got? Could be a red snap or two. Ah! I'm getting bites. Small one, man, but not quite some. Get it coming up. Probably a big old group of about a hundred pounds. Snapper. Red. Are the same one? Not quite as big as uh, Kayla's. It's a big boy though. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of red snapper. Uh, definitely tons of these bad boys in here. Hope, we're hoping to avoid them, but starting to catch on a few now. And here's how the descending device works. Put that little hook, it just slides, slides right out. And the weight. Just gonna take them down. I'm just gonna let them go down, down, down. And when I jerk, it's gonna pull that pin. It just slides right out. That's all there is to it now. You can, uh, this Cuban yo yo is a nice tool. You could put it on your downrigger, put it on a fishing rod, like a heavy fishing rod. Makes it easier to crank up, but sends the fish down. You don't have to vent them. It's a requirement in some areas. So just, there you go. So you use a descending device. Pretty basic. Oh, fish on. I can reel mine out of the for a while. Just thinking that slap a snap. Another one. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that camel's coming. She got four G's. I think that'll keep it for me, I think. Oh, there we go. That's a nice four G's. Usually, when you find those four G's, you'll find those trickers. Mm hmm. Big old ringtail corgi. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're still marking something in the water column. Right. Look at that. A live grunt? Yeah, it was a whole grunt. My dad's flaying them up. Flays look pretty good. Looks like a good kind of whiter meat. So we're going to cook these up and see how they taste and how it compares to the normal black fin and other fish that we eat. We filleted this fish up and I thought the meat looked really good. Like with the uh, other tuna, when we catch them, we do bleed them out. So you kind of cut that vein by the gills and that uh, helps the meat to taste better. 
we filleted these fish much like we would other fish, just, just cutting down the side of the fish, pulling the meat off, and then cutting the meat from the skin. We pan seared this fish, um, pretty basic seasoning, just some butter and some garlic salt, some olive oil, and some heat, nothing real fancy at all, but it allowed us to really get a feel for how the, the meat was and how the texture was. And overall, I'd have to say this meat is great. It is very comparable to tuna. In fact, probably if you gave me that and some blackfin tuna, I couldn't tell the difference. It was just very high quality. I would definitely recommend eating this fish if you catch some. So remember, that's the Atlantic Bonita. It's uh, not the typical Bonita. You think of a lot of people think of Bonita as you know, the other fish we caught it looks slightly different, but the Atlantic Bonita is very good tasting. If you catch some, look for those stripes. Definitely recommend keeping it and eating it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We had a great time catching those Atlantic Bonita. Uh, pretty neat. First time really catching them good like that. There were quite a few. We were hoping to catch blackfin, but that was kind of a neat surprise. Got to catch a few other bottom fish and have a great time in general. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also find us on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. We post a lot of short reels that I think you'll like. So we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.